Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. My name is Gerald Haller and today I'm going to be comparing these watercolours from Winsor Newton which will be the watercolour markers, the professional range half pans and the economical Cotman range full size pans. So first off we have the watercolour markers. You get 12 colours that can package really nicely in this tin with 36 colours in total to choose from with a retail price of around £30. They have the benefit of being a dual tip marker and Winter New and State on the website they have unrivaled colour and blending, a highly pigmented and light fast. So a bit more on that later on. I recently did a full review and painting with these markers that I'll put a link to at the end of the video. Next up I picked up the Cotman range of 24 half pans for £50 but you can get the 24 half pans for around £20 which makes it the most affordable watercolour that Winter New can do. They have 40 colours available compared to the watercolour markers that have 30. I really like the design of this case, it has a nice texture on the top and I like the Winsor Newton logo here. It also opens up with plenty of room for mixing. Winsor Newton state they are high quality, delivering good transparency, excellent tint and strength and optimum working properties. And finally we have the professional watercolour 24 half pans you can pick up for around £60. The all metal design looks really professional and it gives you space for mixing as well as space for two extra half pans. It has the most colours available of 96. Windsor Newton state on their website that with these watercolours they create an unparalleled watercolour range with the widest and most balanced choice of pigments with the greatest possible permanence. Permanence meaning the colours will last much longer on paper before fading. Winter Newton say it will actually be for generations to come. Another feature of the professional watercolour range is that it has 75 single pigments accounting to 78% of the range. That's great news for artists because single pigment formulations are purer in hue and cleaner in colour than mixtures of pigments. Meaning you can have a larger number of colour mixes before you get those annoying muddy effects. They state that all the professional watercolours have a transparent quality on paper, allowing the reflective white of the paper to shine through. They say the transparent pigments reflect light in much the same manner as stained glass would, making a jewel-like brilliance to your work. So let's summarise and compare the swatches. First off, let's take a closer look at the watercolour markers against the Cotman range. Look how much more vibrant the colours are compared to the markers and how much more evenly they appear on paper. From the light colours of the yellows all the way down to the Payne's grey and the ivory black you can really see the difference. Now with the professional colours they take it up another notch. See the yellows and the oranges? It looks so much more vibrant and they're more even. Something else I wanted to mention is that the first time I swatched the Cotman range using the same amount of water as the professional colours they came out a bit pale. So I went back and I did it a second time and it came out much more vibrant and closer to the professional range. So they need a bit more water to activate in the professional range. So while you're painting that will chip away your time and because they're not as vibrant we will require more layering from time to time which will also chip away your time. But I am happy with the results from when I painted Titan. Even though the markers are less vibrant I still like the results and they can be great for pen and ink washes like what I've done here for Alec. And they are very convenient being in marker form and offer a different tool being able to draw straight on paper. They also light fast meaning they are more resistant to fading. The Cotman range are the most economical range and they have more vibrant colours than the markers and more colours available. So as a gift or for summer starting off I would probably recommend these ones. However, if someone is more serious about their artwork, I will probably go for the professional line. They have more colours available, of which all have the transparent quality, and most of the colours available are permanent for artists, which is a great benefit if you like to hang up any of your artwork on the wall, or if you like to sell any of it, maybe by way of a commission. I'm really looking forward to painting something with you soon, so stay tuned for that. Probably soon from the upcoming comic book, Hall of Nights. Many thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content and thanks for watching.